was so happy that so many of you were so interested in the podcast automation that I showed off in the previous episode, NN8N. That's always hard to say, NN8N. So I've decided to offer it to you. Let me show you how it all works. This is the entirety of the workflow. I have copied it and emptied out all of my credentials. And I've also gone in and written up a little note here for you to be able to use this. You can use this as is if you also want to start a podcast and want to put it into Google Sheets and use Transistor FM, or you can use this as an idea, or you can just go through it node by node and just see how I've set things up. You can grab the code from it. And I've over here added everything that you would need to know, just opening this up. However, the one thing that you're going to get that is really valuable is over here. You're going to get all of my prompts. These prompts were pretty difficult to create. They took a lot of iterations. Write the prompt, iterate until I got what I needed. This was a large bulk of the work. And these prompts are all yours now. And the prompts are really good for teaching you how to prompt for automation, which requires the prompt to be very specific. It re requires the prompt to have very clear directions. It also requires the prompt to be structured in some way. You can see that I'm doing that here with keywords equals titles equals. Um, and when I'm working through a prompt, I ask it to give me an output in a specific format. And so this is where a lot of the value is. And the prompts specifically for uh, creating a description, when we get down to that point here, the episode description, this prompt series here is by far the most extensive. And it's exactly how I'm causing the model to give me very specific descriptions that look the same way every time. This is today's episode, Pride and Prejudice. I really like how that image came out, particularly like it put it in a ballroom here, the book here, some flowers. So fantastic. I love that. As we come down here, the description is really the core of this whole automation, pulling out these different little quick bites here. Uh, this is always different each time. It uses a different emoji each time based upon the book itself. Um, and also the quote here is something that took quite a while to get right. That's all here in this uh, description. And you'll see that I not only just run that description once, I then clean it up and refine it. And then I finalize the spacing. That's what gets this very specific spacing here. And all of that took by far the most work. So I'm really glad to be able to offer that to you. You'll also get, if any of you ever decide to use Ghost as a blogging platform, which I do more or less recommend. Um, I've had some few issues with it, but for the most part, I think it creates beautiful posts. And most importantly, it creates posts with wonderful emails. Um, I don't think I've ever shown you that. So let me show you what happens if you get a ghost blog and you want people to be able to get your blog posts and email. When you have a blog post on uh, ghost, you can preview it to see what it looks like. But the fun is over here. You can see what it looks like on mobile. That was another reason why I chose Ghost. Their mobile views for posts look great. But the thing I love the most is what you get in the email, what your subscribers get in their email whenever you post. So Ghost is definitely a great program. It's got a little bit of quirks, but for the most part, I enjoy it. And also, I love that it adds this keep reading here. So there's a lot that you can do with Ghost. That's one of the reasons why I went with it. But the key thing that I wanted to bring your attention to was over here. This JWT token. This I would have paid a lot for before I found the code that generates the JWT token. This 
code does work. You're going to want to put your ID in here and your secret in here. You'll get that in the ghost admin uh, section and you can ask for help with that or do a quick Google search to figure out how to do that. Everything else is just how you how I basically went about this and how I solved the problems along the way. And now you don't have to solve all those problems because I've done them. And I've also given you a quick start guide that shows you exactly how to install this with some images here and the workshop and what to do when you run into some trouble here. And this is the data that I, that chat GPT sends. This is some sample data that this is when I begin the automation. This is the data that chat GPT sends from right within a GPT. If you want to know how to connect your GPT to the outside world, I've done a video on that. I'll link it in the description below. So you should have everything that you need to be able to go ahead and begin doing a podcast of your own if you would like, or even using this just to learn how to use N8N a little bit better. This is available on Gumroad with all the information that you should need here. And so I will link this in the description. Let me know how it works out for you. And let me know if you decide to go ahead and do a podcast of your own, or if you're now hooked on AI automating like I am, so that you can have a really cool automated website like this, which I'm going to tell you, this is my pride and joy. I absolutely adore this website. Let me know how it goes for you.